Come on down and see me. I'm Dr. Richard Kirk, a consultant paediatric cardiologist with a special interest in transplant at Freeman Hospital. <laughs> So how are you then? Fine now, my headaches are cleared up. Jess was born with cardiomyopathy, which is a weakness of the heart muscle itself. And to begin with, she was quite well and she was looked after in Leeds. But about um, 18 months before her transplant, she gradually got more breathless as the weakness in the heart muscle caught up with her. And uh, she was put on medication. It was clear though that there was, you know, her heart wasn't going to mend itself and so she was referred through for transplant to, to see the team here. So she came to us in April and uh, we looked at her and realised that at that particular time she wasn't going to survive a transplant. And the reason was that her, the pressures in her lung arteries was too high and if we would have transplanted her then the new heart would have failed immediately. And so what we did was put her on medication to try and pull down that blood pressure in her lung arteries. And she had to wait with us on the ward uh, and she was with us for a couple of months while we managed to get those pressures down. And when her pressures were down in the lungs, then we were able to look for a heart for her. And fortunately we found one quite quickly for her and were able to transplant her successfully. What would her prognosis have been without the transplant? She, she would be dead by now.